my name is Jessica and I have no idea what I'm doing. Today I'm going to be doing a full face of samples. I know I said I was going to do that like probably a year ago and I never did, so let's do it now. So I have a lot of samples laying around, um, but for eyeshadow primer, I only have this one here. Wow, that, that is a generous uh, sample of eyeshadow primer. This is the Urban Decay they gave me Original and Sin. I have tried out the Original before. I didn't like it. Um, so I'm going to try Sin and see how I feel about that. I just felt that it creased on me. So I kind of don't understand the hype of the primer potion. So I tore that off and I'm going to get some of that out. And that's interesting. I don't know if you can see, but it's shiny. Whoa. You see that, right? Also, that, unless that's like translucent. <laughs> okay. And that's going to be dark on me. I guess I'll just <laughs> put it all the way up from lash line to brow bone. I was not expecting that, and I made a big mess. Yeah, usually I'm pretty messy with my eyeshadow primer, but it doesn't matter because I use translucent ones. Today it matters. Next, I'm going to prime my face, and you know, I could make it easy and go with something like this or something like this, but we don't want to make it easy. I'm going to go with this. <laughs> what kind of sample is that? I don't think... You can even get one use out of that. This is the Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. So, let's see what we got in there. Well, okay, that, mm, it might be enough depending on where you put it. Maybe not. Uh, I guess I'm going to put it on my cheeks. That's where my pores are largest. And my nose, same concept. Let's see if I can have any left for my chin. It smells interesting. A little bit like flowers, but also a little bit like glue. And I'm trying here, but uh, that's it. <laughs> Let's see if I can get any traces on my forehead. No more primer. For foundation, something like this would be too easy. Even this, I think, would be too easy. So let's continue working with this. The three shades I have here are Maple Driftwood and Cashmere. Cashmere is the closest, but uh, I don't see how this is going to work either tone-wise or amount-wise. There it is. <laughs> so I guess I'm just gonna scoop that up and try to <laughs> make it work. I'm not using a sponge or a brush because I feel like that is just going to soak this right up. And then I really will have no product at all. The match is not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but there's no way all of this is going to cover my entire face. There's just no way. I'm almost out already. I wonder if I could just like, <laughs> did it work? A little bit. <laughs> I mean, come on, Becca, how is anyone really supposed to try this foundation? That's cheating. That's not fair. That's it. There's no more. So this is what we have. Next is concealer. 
Two Face, thank you for being so generous. Um, Becca, it's it's gonna be you again. <laughs> so I have here light, medium, and dark golden. Obviously going to go with light. This should be fun. So I'm gonna take this. <laughs> oh no, that's not light. <laughs> oh well. I think there's honestly more of this than there was of the foundation. <laughs> well, maybe I can use this as the rest of the foundation then <laughs> instead. Oh, okay. It does like, it does blend out, kind of. Same thing. I'm just going to use my finger. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, because it's, you know, any kind of tool is just going to take the product away. Yeah, all this here is because I itch and then I scratch and I rip my skin open. So, word to the wise, don't do that. Yeah, those are going to be hard to cover because those are... Uh, pretty deep. So I'm not gonna blame the concealer for that. Um, let's see. Let's see if we could go under here. Oh no! <laughs> this was foundation. <laughs> I already screwed up. Oh well. Well, does that mean I get to pick another concealer? <laughs> Maybe. Well, like I said, the Too Faced one, too generous. We're going to go with the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer with these tiny little things here. I'm going to open up Wheat because that is the lightest one here. Did Does this look anything like that? I'm hoping this dries down a different color. Okay, wow. All right, there's actually more in there than I thought there was. Thanks, Jouer. Yeah, that's another one that's kind of deep, but it's covering the outer edges of it. Are you guys having fun out there? I'm having fun. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the difference. I can. Oh man. Today is, this is a Sunday when I'm filming this, so I'm not going to work uh, that I, even I'm smart enough not to do that for a video like this. Okay, I think that's as good as it's going to get. <laughs> Look at this. Well, next is powder and Laura Mercier, thank you so much, but that would be way too easy. We're going to go with Bare Minerals, the powder foundation. What am I supposed to do with that? Now, the only way I can apply this is with a brush, so I think I'm going to use my Moda Contour Brush just to see if I can get in some of these spaces. Uh, I'm going to use Fairly Light 03. This even picking up. Okay, something's there. Yeah, okay. I see it starting to diminish. Okay, it's leaving us. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, 
So there's more on here than I thought. I mean, how much, you know, how much coverage or mattifying power am I really getting here? I don't know, but you can see over here, there's none left. And over there, there still is some. I could cheat and go into the next shade, but we're not gonna cheat. And that's that. For bronzer, thank you Tarte for being generous. I don't have any other sample bronzer, so this is gonna be it for today. Uh, this is the Park Ave Princess Amazonian Clay Bronzer. It smells kind of tropical, like coconutty, vanilla-y maybe. So I'm gonna use the same, you know what? No, I'm not gonna use that brush. It's gonna concentrate it too much. I'm gonna use my Too Faced Mr. Right brush. It's big enough, it'll fit. There it is. This should be interesting because who knows what's set here and what's not <laughs> with how little powder I had. Okay, that looks good. This is so easy. Too easy, Tarte, too easy. This is a nice bronzer. It does have um, shimmer to it though. So if that's not something you like, I don't know why I'm bothering, but this is, it's not like this is gonna save the look or anything. <laughs> but um, yeah, it does have some shimmer to it. So if that's not something you like, then this is not a bronzer for you. Okay, are we looking any better? For blush, I still, I know, shame on me. I still have this um, milk makeup little blush from uh, like a birthday present last year that I haven't tried, but that would be too easy. We're gonna go with the Buxom <laughs> Waterlust blush. Again, with the, the powder on the card, I don't think they even told us what shades are on here. Oh, Dolly and Mykonos. Dolly and Mykonos. All right, let's, let's try Dolly. Let's try the plumish one. I'm gonna peel that off and I'm gonna be careful not to get that one. And I'm gonna use my same Too Faced Mr. Right brush and let's see what we get. It does have a sheen to it, so, oh, okay. It's definitely coming off. Oh boy, what's happening here? Probably because who knows what's powdered and what's not. See that? <laughs> There's actually uh, quite a bit on here too. See, there's like a lot coming off and there's still a lot here. So good job, Buxom. There's actually more here than I thought. This is also a primer infused blush. So it's possible that I may have a little trouble blending it just because it has a primer in it. Ooh, that's a lot actually. Good job, Buxom. Pleasantly surprised by the amount given here. Yeah, so there's still plenty left. I could definitely get at least another day out of this. Um, probably another one after that as well. Normally, if something like this happened to me, I would go in with some of my powder and kind of like clean this up. <laughs> but there's no powder to do that with. So I'm just going to clean off this brush and try my best to kind of blend out those edges. <laughs> Forget it. For highlighter, I do have this uh, Wanderlust Beauty one, but that's very generous. Thank you so much. Now we're going to go with the Mary Luminizer from The Bomb. Even that's, you know, that that's a, a good sample though. And I'm going to use that as my eyeshadow as well because I don't have any sample eyeshadows other than this one. But really that is the size of one of their eyeshadows. So I guess it's not technically a sample. So I'm going to use my Moda Contour Brush to pick some of that up. And I'm going to apply that here. 
Everything is so shiny though. <laughs> it's a little hard to tell if this, like what this actually looks like. My face is shiny. My bronzer is shiny. My blush is shiny. Can you see it? I think it looks nice from what I can see. Wouldn't it be fun if there were sample brushes? I don't have any though. I don't know if those exist. I'm just going to use my finger to apply the Mary Luminizer highlighter slash shadow on my eyelid and into the crease. Very simple eye look today because that's all I have. This is pretty though. I like it. I feel like this is a good uh, color for me, you know, for my skin tone. We'll see how this primer holds up. I mean, I will let you know how everything wears, <laughs> but uh, don't expect anything too good just because of how the application went. I actually have a brow product here. I have the Benefit Gimme Brow Plus in this little package. I have a feeling this will be a decent size. Includes full-size custom brush. What does this mean? What is this? Keep in mind that I am not a brow product person. I very, very rarely use them. But what is... Okay. That says twist. This says pull. So twist. Oh, okay. Get out. <laughs> so the products in here. Wow, benefit. And they, wow. So this came out of here. So the little product is in here. Um, like this, I guess. I mean, I do feel like this is enough to try it, though. Oops. And this is enough for... Ooh, that is a little dark. Or I guess I'm just not used to seeing my brows anything but natural. So I'm looking at this like, ooh, that's a lot, that's dark, but it's probably not. So I'm going to put it back in there. For the other eyebrow. I just think that's so funny. But there really is enough to to try it. And probably like another day or so too. There we go. So now we have some... Oh no. <laughs> I tried to fix it and I made it worse. Oh no. Is that okay? <laughs> no. All right, well, I guess I'm going to have to do it to the side, too, now, right? Is this what people do? Well, probably not like this. Yeah, like I said, brows are not uh, something I usually do. Extremely rare, so application here is going to be my fault, not the samples. <laughs> So I do have some sample eyeliners here, but I believe these are deluxe samples, so they're a little bigger. I'm going to use them, but uh, just so you know, I've had them for a while, and these are definitely bigger than the rest of the samples we've been using today. So I have the Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner in Trooper Black. I may have even tried this before on my channel, I don't remember. That's what it looks like. Oh, this is a brush tip. I don't really care for those. I'm also not a big eyeliner person anyway. Let's see what we can do.
Mm, yeah, so that started out okay. <laughs> what a mess. But that's that's my fault. That's not the product's fault. Darn it. <laughs> I think I'm going to give up at this point, guys. <laughs> yeah, okay, that, that's it. No more. We can't do this. And then I have the Lorac Front of the Line Pro in, I guess, black. This I remember using, and this worked well. Again, I don't know if I used it on my channel or not, but I definitely have used it just for myself. It's not applying as well as I remember, but I've also had it for a while. I remember it applying well and also like wearing well throughout the day, like basically looking the same at the end of the day. I'm gonna try and put a little bit of eyeshadow over here to try and cover up that mistake. The only sample mascara I have is again from that birthday present, uh, the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. Kush Mascara? I've heard about it. I am going to use my eyelash curler first, that's always what I do. But unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to see like what it can really do because of the eyeliner that I have on. Yeah. Smells like mascara. I mean, and of course, this is too easy. Thank you, Milk Makeup, for being so generous. So I feel like I'm getting a lot of length, but not really volume. I'm going to put a second coat because that's what I always do. That's how I like to wear mascara. Yeah, I feel like it's getting a little out of control. Look at the length though. The length is really good, but it's, um, if you're into like the spidery look, then I think you'll like this, but there really isn't any volume here. It's just a lot of length. So that's a personal preference. I want both. And I also want it to be able to hold a curl because my lashes are straight. They're actually longer than I, than I think they are but they're very straight. And then I'm going to put it on the bottom lashes, even though my bottom lashes, you already know, I usually just use the L'Oreal Double Extend Beauty Tubes because it removes very easily and doesn't smudge or smear. But I wanna give this a try. Oops. Wouldn't wanna ruin the look, right? That's definitely enough on my lower lashes for my taste, but I'm going to do a second coat just so we can see what it looks like. Yeah, it's getting like very um, wild, I feel like. There's definitely more volume down here than there is on the top lashes. I feel like it's kind of messy, and I don't know if that's me or the product. So it's interesting, I'm glad I got to try it. I am very picky with mascara though, so by no means does this mean this is a bad product. I'll have to let you know how it wears though. Last but certainly not least, because this is probably going to be the easiest part, or one of the easiest parts, lips. My lips are incredibly dry, so hopefully this hydrating lipstick will do something for me. Lips are kind of easy. Like, I don't think you could really put too little in a lip sample. I mean, any size they give you, I'm pretty sure you can get a day out of it. But we have Chart Rainforest of the Sea, and we have three different shades. We have Beach Babe, Salt Life, and Sea Goddess. I'm going to try Salt Life because I think that's the one that's going to look worst on me. And, oh, 
it's actually darker than I thought it was going to be. So maybe it won't look that bad. And there's definitely enough in here if you keep it sealed so you could keep this for a few days. Oh. So it's darker. Do you see that? Like that's kind of dark, at least for me. And then on here, on my actual lips, it's coming out kind of light. See if I can build it up a little bit. That's kind of nice. For me, that's something pretty natural. Oh, I like it. Let's see how it wears. And of course, if I have any allergic reactions to any of this, but hey, maybe I'll be uh, picking up some new lipstick if I like this. So you don't really want a close up of this, do you? <laughs> this disaster. Look at that. Look at my beak. And then look at, just, just look at all this. But I have to say, I had a good time. I had a good laugh. I did get to try out some new products. Um, I think the Becca foundation, I like the way it applied. I do. I, there just wasn't really enough to get a good uh, first impression on it or really a good test. The Jouer concealer, uh, that seems okay too. The color is, I don't think, too great. Same thing with the Becca foundation. Uh, the shades, I would definitely have to get something different. I mean, the primer, I really, I wouldn't know because there was definitely not enough to get a good test out of that. The eyeshadow primer, uh, we'll see. It's interesting that it was so shiny like that. I like the bronzer. I like the blush. I just, you know, if there was a, a better setting powder, I think it would have blended out better. The powder, again, there wasn't really enough to figure out what it's like. The highlighter slash eyeshadow, I think, is nice. I mean, I have used the Benefit Brow Gel before. I just thought that setup was interesting and me screwing up was just, just me because I'm not used to using brow gel or any brow products at all. The eyeliners I've used before, I mean, I definitely made a mess and that's on me, not the product. I don't really care for uh, brush tips though. I like felt tips better when I do use liquid eyeliner. I mean, otherwise it's okay. Um, like I said, I have used the Lorac um, eyeliner before and I did like it. The mascara, it, it's not my style because I want more volume, but uh, we'll see how it wears. And so far I like the lipstick. All right, that's it for today. I hope you have a good day no matter what it is you're doing. Bye, see you next time.